Hi, I'm Matt Palin, and I run eReader Central. In this short video, I'll give you all the information you need in order to start your personal search for the most suitable e-reader for you. So let's start off with what exactly is an ebook reader. An ebook reader or an e-reader is an electronic device which is used for reading ebooks. But I guess you already knew that, didn't you? So what makes it any different than your iPhone or a laptop? Well, e-readers use a special technology called e-ink. E-ink or e-paper are names used to describe how e-readers work. I won't get into all the technicalities, but basically this technology allows you to display text in a way that it feels as if it were displayed on actual paper. This technology has three major advantages. First, because there's no backlight to most e-readers, you don't strain your eyes and it feels like reading an actual book. Second, the technology only uses power to create the page once. Therefore, if you don't turn a page, you don't use power. This allows e-readers to go on for weeks before they need charging. This is also the reason that e-reader battery life is measured in page turns. And finally, you can read out of e-readers even in bright places and in sunlight. Because there's no backlight to light up the screen like in normal computers, it's possible to read in very bright places as well. Okay, so now you know what an e-reader is. But do you know what to look for when checking out an ebook reader? When you come to examine an e-reader, there are several things you need to take into account. Here's a short list of the important parameters to check out. Number 1. Display. Since this device is used for reading, it is important to have a good display. Most e-readers today use e-ink technology like I stated before. Make sure the display is big enough. The standard display today is 6 inches, although there are bigger e-book readers out there as well. I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than this. Another thing to check out about the display is the grayscales on the machine. The most common is eight grayscales. Some provide more and some less. The grayscale is particularly important for showing detailed graphics. Number two, compatibility. Find out which types of file formats the e-reader supports. Some e-readers will support only specific formats, where others will support a wide variety. Number three, Battery life. Battery life is extremely important. You want to be able to read without having to recharge your device every two hours. An average device should hold up at least 7,000 page turns before needing to recharge. Number four, availability of books. The Amazon Kindle store holds over 300,000 books. The Sony store holds over 100,000 books. Check out how many books will be available to you in accordance with the supported file types. You don't want to get stuck with a really neat e-reader, but no e-books to read. Number five, warranty. Since these are new gadgets that are still not fully explored, they'll sometimes have bugs and glitches. Therefore, it's important to have at least a one-year warranty for cases of bad luck. Number six, size. You want it to be portable, especially if you travel a lot. The average e-reader should weigh around 300 grams or 10 ounces. Make sure your e-reader is small enough and doesn't take much space. Also, like I said before, make sure that it isn't too small so you'll still be able to read off of it easily. Number 7. Wireless. This is not a must, but more like a nice-to-have feature. Some e-readers have wireless capabilities so you can immediately buy books from the Internet or get your daily newspaper delivered to it. Like I said, nice-to-have. Number 8. Customer Reviews. Probably the most important thing to remember. Since most of these gadgets are bought online, you have access to hundreds of customer reviews. Make sure to go over them before deciding, in order to succeed where others have failed. Number 9. Price. Regarding the sensitive issue of cost, today's e-readers average around $350. Some cost more, some less, but this is no doubt a high price to pay. My guess is that in a couple of years, we will be able to find e-readers around $150, but there's still time until then. If you're a book lover like me, then this is a relatively small price to pay in order to enrich your book reading experience. Trust me, I've been there. So now you also know how to evaluate an e-reader. All that's left is to find out who are the major players in the market and take your pick. Well, when e-readers came out, there were only two major players in the market which were the Amazon Kindle One and the Sony Reader. That was around 2007. Today, there are a lot of new e-readers out there, so let's go over some of them. Amazon Kindle Readers 
After coming out in February 2009 with the Kindle 2, Amazon has already managed to sell around 500,000 units. In June 2009, only four months later, Amazon released the Kindle DX, which is said to be the most advanced e-reader on the market today. Sony PRS Readers Sony has come out with a series of e-readers. The most known are the PRS 505 and the new PRS 700. The Sony e-readers are considered to be one of the top contenders out there. B-Book Although the company Endless, which manufactures the B-Book, is not that well known like Sony or Amazon, they have managed to put together quite an impressive and relatively cheap e-reader. The best thing about it is that, unlike the Kindle or the Sony e-reader, you can purchase it even if you're not a citizen of the U.S. There are a variety of other e-readers as well, but these are definitely the major players in the e-reader market today. So there you have it. Now you know all you need to know about the e-reader world, and you can set out to pick the most suitable e-reader for your needs. Here at eReader Central, we try to keep you updated with the latest news, reviews, and comparisons. If you want to know more, you can just subscribe to our newsletter at the top left corner of the screen. Or just read our reviews. Thanks for watching. Well, what are you waiting for? Go find your e-reader.